Now facing the fall, school boards and local governments are debating whether to bring back mask mandates and possibly vaccine mandates. Governor DeSantis is hinting he will possibly call a special session of the legislature to stop this from happening. Now the question is, if there's a legal fight, who wins? News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson spoke to legal and political experts about this potential rift. Scott. Mary, so let me put out kind of a map for you of what's going on right now in the state. So down in Orange County and in Miami-Dade, those local governments are looking to enhance, have stricter masking or vaccination policies. Then the school board in Broward County wants to have a mask mandate for school when it starts. This goes against some of the things Governor DeSantis says he will allow. We're checking what happens next. Mandatory masking is already an issue in Broward County, where the school board has passed a mask mandate to come back. Governor DeSantis's office sending this statement to News for Jacks. The governor hinted last week that the legislature would have a special session to ensure that all Florida school districts are mask optional so that parents can decide what is best for their own kids. So who has the final say? I spoke with a law professor from FAMU by phone. He says if push comes to shove, DeSantis will likely win this fight. And when the state legislature passes a law and the governor signs it and it becomes enacted into the Florida statutes, that would supersede any municipal or local ordinance or policy to the contrary. Then there's the other part of this story that's very real, political implications. Governor DeSantis sorry. is up for re-election next year. Look at this tweet from Democratic candidate Nikki Freed, who says mayors, not the governor, have the ability to protect their constituents and local economies. They're governing closest to the people, and I have their backs. And this rise in the Delta variant is political risky, and it is risky to him, and is being used by Democrats against him. News for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney adds in addition to a second term as governor, DeSantis may run for president in 2024, and his base wants him to protect the mask optional stance. If he backpedals on his thoughts on masks in schools, could that hurt him with his base? I don't think you're going to see the governor backpedal when it comes to how he approaches public schools in the state of Florida. I do believe you're going to see him be very consistent. I asked the law professor if the federal government could get involved if you have a local government who wants to fight the state. He says essentially they can't. This is a state issue. The feds would not have jurisdiction. And the governor's office did send me a very lengthy statement. We showed you a small portion of it. You can read the full one right now under this article at newsforjacks.com. We're live tonight. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.